damn, this is so nostalgic. I remember I used to skip school to spend my time with Gordon Freeman to explore Black Mesa. I did defuse thousands of bombs in Counter-Strike 1.6 and I saved millions of hostages. That was really great times. When I received my first flat screen monitor with 30 frames and one by one aspect ratio, I was amazed. I thought, there it is, this is the future. What else can be better than this? But there is no limits for technology. 12 years ago, I would never imagine that I would own something like Samsung Odyssey G9. This monitor is just beast. It doesn't even fit to my studio desk. This is 49 inch. 240 hertz monitor with 32 by 9 aspect ratio and 1 millisecond response time. No doubt this is one of the most hyped monitors of this year, but I had a lot of questions about it because I had no gaming experience on such a large monitor. 32 by 9 aspect ratio compared to my 16 by 9 aspect ratio, it's a huge difference. I don't even talk about one by one. So the first thing about this monitor is design. It's so futuristic, it's covered with a glossy white plastic and cool RGB lights with the 52 color options. The curvature of the monitor is insane. It has 1000 R cure radius, which is curvature of the human eye. And it really is, because when you are gaming, you are feeling like you are in a spaceship. Also, there is a headphone hook behind the monitor, which is a cool feature, but I don't think I will use it, because I will change classic stand to the table mount, so it will help me to save more space on my desk. There is two display ports, one HDMI, two USB ports and one audio output port. The cable management is great, you can hide all cables behind the removable panel. I worked a lot on Adobe Premiere and DaVinci Resolve, and it was a great experience. The extra space which you have for editing and color grading is very useful. It's really hard to switch back to 16x9 monitor after using Odyssey G9. This will be definitely my monitor not only for gaming, but for my post-production as well. And most important, gaming experience. I play different type of games, including CSGO and PUBG. If you're playing competitive games, you are gonna definitely need to get used to it. Because of extra field of view, which requires more attention. And as you may know, many pro players do reduce their field of view in the settings, so they get more focus on the center. But this is not a problem. You can also play these games on this monitor on 16 by 9 aspect ratio. And if we talk about single player games, this is something special and you need to try it. It's a totally different experience compared to any other monitors. Playing with this extra field of view is just amazing feeling. I cannot wait to try out Cyberpunk 2077 on this Samsung Odyssey G9 monitor. This is gonna be insane. One more thing that I noticed is that it's so easy to see opponents in the dark and other hard to see places. And it's because it has HDR 1000. But don't forget, this monitor is 5K by 1440p resolution and 240Hz, so it requires a lot of power. Even with my RTX 2080 Super, Ryzen 3900X and 32GB of RAM, I have averaged 60 frames per second in Red Dead Redemption with the high settings, and around 65 frames in PUBG with Ultra settings. If I use my optimal PUBG medium settings, I can get around 110 to 130 frames per second. It requires a GPU with DisplayPort 1.4 and it needs to support display stream compression to get this resolution in 240 hertz. So you need at least RTX 2060, but I would suggest of getting the new RTX 3080 to get the extra frames for this monster. I'm thinking personally of getting the new RTX 3080 to get ready for Cyberpunk. Yes, this is not a cheap enjoyment, but it's totally worth it. And one more thing for streamers, if you're using this monitor in wide mode for streaming and gaming, Get ready to deal with wide anamorphic look on your stream. So basically your viewers will see black bars or you can zoom in in your game capture windows in your OBS. I haven't seen yet someone streaming in wide mode on Twitch, but I'm really interested to try it. But as a streamer, you can have numerous windows, your game, chat, Discord, and everything else you are using during your streams. And the last part is menu. This is the best monitor menu I've seen so far. 
Overall, there are so many gaming functions and color options to calibrate this monitor for your preference. Everything is very optimized and works perfectly for my needs. Odyssey G9 menu is controlled by only one knob, which is very comfy because I hate when there is a lot of buttons on my monitor. So my conclusion is, this is the most hyped monitor in the market and there is no other monitors that could compete with this beast in 32 by 9 aspect ratio. It has 1000 RQ radius, DQHD resolution, HDR 1000 up to 1000 nits with a high dynamic range, 240 Hz refresh rate and it has between 1 and 2 milliseconds response time. But the thing is that you still need to make a lot of investment to get the full potential out of this monitor. So get ready to upgrade your PC. Thank you so much for watching this review, I hope you did enjoy it and now it's time for me to go back to the gaming.